So my name's Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. And right now, we're working on putting together a nicer set of orcish armor for our buddy Jazargo. So, what we're going to do is give improve his shield. So we actually don't have a lot of soul gems right now. Hopefully this will be enough. Did he already have an orcish shield? He might already have one of these. Let's see. Gizargo regrets there was no chance to speak with Gizargo only has so much room to carry things. So he has a dwarven shield. That should be fine. So we're going to give him a better helmet and gauntlets and uh... you know actually I think we're not going to mess with uh, with his armor because we're getting reasonably high up there when it comes to uh... when it comes to our crafting skill and pretty soon we're going to be able to uh, get much better armor for ourselves and for uh, and for our followers, whatever followers we stick with. So we're going to put that stuff away. Now, as I mentioned in the last uh, let's play, uh, we have a crossbow and a dwarven bow at this point, or I'm sorry, a, a crossbow and a glass bow at this point, and they both do the same damage. Oh no, crossbow actually does more right now. 40 versus 43. Although the arrows that we, uh, and uh, bolts that we have probably affect that. So let's head out and um, We're going to see if we can buy the materials we need to improve this uh, this crossbow. Because at least for a little while, we're going to probably be uh, using either type of bow until uh, until we get much better bows, or we can improve our our bows enough that we won't be using crossbows anymore. So we're heading out. Lightly armored. I don't remember what kind of materials are needed to improve a crossbow. Crossbows require a steel ingot. Okay, let's see. Do you sell those? The finest weapons and armor. Steel ingot? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. So let's sell. Sell some of the stuff that we don't need. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so this is a nicer shield than the one that we currently have favorited. So we'll sell our old shield and we'll uh, enchant uh, the replacement. You wish to do what I do? Very well. Okay, we just spent all our remaining gold on uh, on that. Anything to suit your needs. But let's see. And um, yeah. Okay, so we are now officially poor. Return any time. Wait, what's he? 
You... <laughs> Seems like he's, he's practicing uh, to be a drummer or something like that. Anyhow. Oh, and we should probably favorite our, uh, our shield. Oh, we did favorite it. Okay. And I thought that I had tried to disenchant that uh, dragon armor. Maybe I'm misremembering. So I'm going to pop down and uh, double check that. So let's improve our shield. Really is unfortunate that we're still using this uh, this shield though, because it's not a particularly good shield at this point in the game. And I only have greater souls at this point to use. first uh, piece of smithing gear and I'll just if I can remember to put that on before I do any smithing in the future then uh, and that will be uh, let me improve things a lot more than I otherwise could and oh yeah did I actually try to disenchant this dragon armor no I already know Illusion. Okay, and let's just double check to see what Jizargo is wearing. Is he already wearing enchanted armor? Yes, and that's a good enchantment for him. So yeah, we're gonna sell. Uh, we're gonna sell this armor, and then uh, and then move on. Who are you? In town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. I have no idea. Look, it was one night. Just take this damn thing. I never want to see it again. Okay. And uh, so I am embarrassing the people of uh, Riften. Where did this Smith guy go? Let's wait an hour. See if he comes back. Ah, good. What brings you to take a look? And he's actually already spent all that armor that or all that money that we just uh, gave him for training that's unfortunate well let's see if uh, and he doesn't have any um, steel ore yet oh well actually we yeah we're gonna buy this this is an improvement over existing shield and it will give him um, uh, enough money to buy this dragon plate armor. Cool. And we can sell him our existing shield. So, bonus. Unfortunately, it, it has a bad name, but that's fine. I would love for it to have the name of my one something or another, but you can't rename maged items that way. So the next uh, quests are we can clear out a cave, we can work on the Bard's College. Let's double check our infantry. We're at 212. Uh, that's reasonable. Or we can uh, head deep I always liked um, heading uh, deep underground in the game, so we're going to go and uh, investigate a Dwemer ruin that's going to take us into some really interesting caves. 
So we're heading back to Sarthal because it's the closest um, closest bit on our map that we can use for quick travel. Unfortunately, I think the quick travel point drops us off uh, right at the bottom of uh, of the valley in which uh, the entrance is. So we're going to have to climb back out. But that's okay. Oh no, I guess we're actually up here. So. We could either go in this way, or we could drop into the sightless pit. Actually, let's drop into the sightless pit. It is a dangerous, but kind of uh, kind of fun way to dive underground. Provided, of course, um, I'm slightly worried that Chisargo is not going to follow me appropriately down here. Please don't fall to your death. And down we go. So you first encounter this fairly uh, fairly early in the game if you're doing the obvious approach to make your way um, to Sarthal. And I once fell in here and had a very horrible uh, time. I had I was loading and reloading uh, endlessly. So yeah, theoretically, you drop down into this pool of water. And it's fortunately deep enough that you wouldn't immediately, you wouldn't go splat. But it does mean that you're not heading back out again um, the same way you came in. So let me show you what the crossbow is like. And we're going to duck down. Now, if you have a good memory, you'll remember that there was a weird looking tent outside of this place. And that was a, uh, a Falmer tent. Now we've seen Falmer before. Which is a nice skill book. And they brought a big hunk of cheese down with them. So this, this was probably some unfortunate sod who dropped down and found that they couldn't make their way out. Unfortunately, they were well equipped enough to have a tent. And there, these are more dead looking dudes. And if we light up the place a little bit, we will see that they have arrows sticking out, uh, out of them. Yeah, so their expedition went badly wrong. Hopefully our expedition will go uh, not badly wrong, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I was going to show the, uh, the crossbow, so let's keep on moving, but we're, we are going to tiptoe. So the thing about the Falmer is that they're all blind. So it doesn't really matter if they see you or not, and this is a trap. Hopefully Jusargo won't trigger it. Okay, that's... So you can see it has a slow reload time. And you have to work a little bit more Yeah, you have to put a little bit more work into uh, aiming it. And Falmer armor, although it's generally decent, it's pretty heavy for its weight. So we generally don't... I'm not going to be picking it up. Now the Falmer often crawl out of the walls through tunnels that look like that. I don't know how they manage it, but they, uh, they have a talent for climbing up uh, surfaces that they probably shouldn't be able to climb. And uh, so here we drop down another thing that we will not be able to make our way back up. 
and onto another platform. Yeah, we're just going to be dropping a lot here, and we want to make sure that we do it in a way where we don't fall horribly to our death. Or gently to our death. Point is, we don't want to die. So we'll drop down onto the pipe. Hopefully Jusargo... I don't know where Jusargo is. He's probably up there somewhere. I hope. And we'll drop down here. Okay. Now here we are trapped, as, essentially. This is as far back as we can retreat. Oh, it looks like he dropped down safely. That's good. Oh, another thing about crossbows, by default, they're loaded. So you don't have a long draw time uh, for them. They're also... Oh, Falmer are sometimes pretty stupid. So you'll occasionally see them on ledges like this just falling off the edge uh, down to their death. Although I think that just might be that the AIs in this game are generally pretty stupid. It's hard to make a good AI though, so don't blame them too much. But Okay, more signs that the Falmer are nearby. And there is the Falmer that just happened to leap off to his death. Okay, and somebody saw us somewhere. Not sure where they are. Oh. Oh, he... And we can soul trap these dudes. No, don't want to soul trap you, Jazargo. Ah, shoot. I was a little bit too slow here. So actually, I could be... I could pick up the Hardened Helm. It's not a bad value for, uh, for its weight. I tend not to. And here, this is, this is one of those trap thingies. I don't know where the trigger is, but I would prefer not to trigger it because that particular trap is very deadly. Um, if you aren't careful, even if you're super, super tough, it is going to cut you down. Put up our shield. I hope that he, I hope he didn't end up dying. Oh no, he's he's taking a little break. Okay. Yeah, th these guys are pretty tough, and he was taking most of the blows for me. I'm hoping that he, uh, that neither of us will end up dying in this dungeon. Now switch back to to sneaking and get our crossbow back out. Okay, I think I see a rat up there. Gotcha. And uh, there is a Falmer with a magic staff. Oh, and it's a Falmer Gloom Lurker. So those guys are pretty tough. Okay, all maged. Or maybe not. I remember them being tougher than that, but... Every character is different, and we'll find, uh... And we'll find their experiences with different types of enemies, uh... Different. So... And is this thing still lootable? No, it's just a statue now. Okay. And... This might lead to the next area? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, 
so we can expect there to be more Falmer all over the place eventually. Ooh, there is a giant spider. And now we definitely want to have our shield and sword. So we are taking a fair bit of damage here, but we survived, good. Now these helmets are special in that you can wear them and a circlet at the same time. And so one of the big things of theory in this game that you need to be aware of is that the enchantments, they're, uh, they're per item. And so, if you can find a way to more uh, to wear more items at the same time, that just means more enchantments uh, for you. Now, this isn't a good strategy for maximizing your armor rating, but it is a good strategy for maxing uh, anything else that you might want to maximize with enchantments. And in particular, there are enchantments that can make any potions that you brew stronger or make any smithing that you do more effective. So if you can... Uh, ah, these, this is a lot of Thalmer at the same time. Okay, so we want our shield. Let's take it... Uh, Okay, that's not good. Ooh. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna need to do a quick bit of healing here. And then get the shield back up. And unfortunately, these guys are decent combatants. They're gonna keep on trying to sneak around behind me. So I'm going to put some poison on my weapon and heal up a little bit with, uh... And, uh... Oh, very pretty. Unfortunately, the pretty is my, uh... My taking... Am I taking nasty damage? Okay. So that was pretty messy. And you can just imagine how horrible that was uh, with, uh, with my lower level character. I kept on loading and saving and trying again and sneaking, running off endlessly. It was very, very bad at, uh, at lower levels. At this level, it was just pretty tough. Of course, you do have more flexibility when you don't have a follower because your follower will often just rush in there and uh, and get you involved in combats that you might prefer to take really slow. And uh, so these are all alchemy ingredients. We're getting egg sacs from the spiders that were attacking us earlier. Let's lighten up the place a little bit. keep on leveling Muffle, because the sooner we get invisibility, the better. Now, of course, it wouldn't help for places like these because your foes are blind, but it certainly is helpful for other places. So let's switch back to the crossbow and uh, see what we can see. Oh, there are some Thalmer. 
Fortunately, I got a good... Good hidden, but I do not want to take the risk of... of Jusargo getting overwhelmed and killed. Are there any foes left? No. Jusargo is badly injured. Actually, I think... You okay? Oh, he's not talking to me. Jusargo, talk. Huh. And he's keeping his hands up. I hope that he's not glitched and that he is going to keep following me. Wait, where? Hmm. Okay, that is worrying. And there are some foes com uh, that I can dimly see up there. So I am going to see if I can knock them off from here, or at least Jusargo might calm down a little bit when, or might might become responsive again when the battle starts. Okay, let's just get this blade out and. Oh, meet these guys. Okay. Okay. Heal up really quickly. Uh, bring up the shield. That's a pretty nasty takedown. Okay, now Jizargo, are you more wet, ready to talk right now? Jizargo regrets there was no chance to speak. Jizargo only has so much room to get it. So it's possible that I can give Jizargo um, some potions. I'm not entirely sure if this works, but giving him some healing potions might let him recover more quickly. Hopefully uh, these aren't potions that we're going to need. And. Uh, Give him a little bit of uh, skooma and some poison potions to paint his weapon with. Okay, so he's healing up because we're at a battle. Just using the normal regeneration. I probably should pick up some. There are some spells that you can use to heal your uh, to heal your companions. And I should probably pick those up at some point. And I'm getting some weird slowdown. We are in a gigantic cave with a very tall ceiling. So I am going to save and reload the game. Uh, this just occasionally happens in Skyrim. You get unexplained slowdown. And, uh, and yeah, saving and reloading seems to be the best solution. So I will see you in the next uh, Let's Play.